Hi there, this is the Tesla Model 3. Um, I've done quite a few videos on the Model 3. One of the most common questions that we get asked about the uh, Model 3 or any electric vehicle actually is how long does it take to charge or how fast does it charge? Um, so I'm going to show you various different charging methods and how fast the car charges using each of them. We're going to start with the basic granny adapter called the UMC, Universal Mobile Connector, that the car comes with. The car comes supplied with the blue uh, Type 2 cable here and in this container is the UMC, the Universal Mobile Connector. Now this connects to an ordinary 3-pin socket in the UK or um, a Shuko connector in Europe to give you or even a blue commando connector for a campsite but that's only a 16 amp one and that should give you um, something at least. Now before we get started just a quick word of warning on extension cables. This is a heavy duty 13 amp extension cable um, with proper 13 amp sockets on it. The car will only charge it at 10 amps on the uh, UMC. So there's some clicking here and you can see the lights here indicating that it's charging. So we'll let that get settled down charging. And a word of warning, if you have to use a cable reel, always extend the cable fully. But if you're using a cable reel like this, you see the thickness of the cable here, it simply is not thick enough to carry the current to continuously charge a car. You see it says three amp here, fully wound or six amp unwound. The car charges at 10 amps and this will just melt. Even if it's uh, unwound, this cable will not be able to carry that kind of power. So you need a proper 13 amp cable. And if you're using it on a cable reel, make sure it's fully unwound so it doesn't melt. Maximum charge current is 10 amps. You can't go higher than that. And you'll get a charge rate of eight miles per hour in the Model 3 on 10 amps of electricity. So eight miles an hour, how long will it take to charge? Uh, 80 miles will take 10 hours, 160 miles will take 20 hours, so 200 miles approximately will take 24 hours. Really, the UMC is a last resort, or if you're visiting friends and overnight you need to get an extra 80 miles, 90 miles, you can do that using the UMC if you have to. The next fastest way of charging your car is using a wall socket like this, um, specifically designed for electric vehicles. Now this is a 16 amp socket, so it will charge at around 3.7 kilowatts, 3.8 kilowatts, and um, it's twice as fast as the ordinary three pin plug. You need, uh, some of these come with a cable attached, a tethered cable, but this is a type two untethered. So you have to have a cable, a type two cable, which does come with the car, that's the blue cable. My blue cable is not quite long enough to reach the car, so I have another one. So I'm just gonna connect it up and show you how fast that goes. That's the one end in. Another word of advice, these 10 meter cables are very handy for dealing with iced charging spots. If you need to park across someone to connect your charger, you can do it and you can still reach the charger with uh, one of these. So that's plugged in and when it goes green, we'll know we're charging. There you go. And what's the car showing now? We'll give it a minute to settle down. Well, there you have it at uh, 16 amps. We're charging at 14 miles an hour showing on the screen here. It did flicker up to 15 a minute ago. So that's almost twice as fast as uh, as it was charging before. Right, well our seven kilowatt charger is, or 32 amp charger, is a Tesla wall unit. And that does have certain advantages. This is the Tesla connector. And as you can see, it has a button on the top here. Now that button will open the flap to allow you access to your charging port when you press the button. And then you plug in. Right, once you've plugged the uh, charger in, it will flash green as before, and then you can check the rate of charge in the car. And straight away you can see the charge rate has gone up to uh, 29 miles per hour. That'll settle down at around 30. So in 10 hours, overnight, the car will go from empty to full. Of course, you never get home empty and you never charge to full. You charge to about 80 or 90%, depending on your needs the next day. But uh, 10 hours from empty to full, so, say, uh, seven hours from 10% to 80%. Right, these are public um, destination chargers provided by Tesla. 
where you have a red sign that's only going to work with a Tesla and where you have the white sign it will work with any electric vehicle that has a type 2 socket. So let's see if we can get a charge on this one. Yep, that's taking a charge now and this is three phase here. So this is three phase and once it's gone up to its full uh, 16 amps across three phases. Now note, the maximum charging current is only 16 amps, but it's 16 amps times three. So uh, the charge rate, as you can see there, is 45 miles an hour. So it's charging at a fair old pace. Um, my Model S will charge here at 16 kilowatts. This is 11 kilowatts. So the Model S charges at 16 kilowatts. Um, that's limited by the onboard charger on the car. And the socket here will charge a car at 22 kilowatts. So if you're lucky enough to have a Renault Zoe with 43 kilowatt AC charging, you can charge here at 22 kilowatts, which is uh, significantly faster than the 11 I'm charging at now. This device here is the Chadamo adapter, and that until recently was the only way that you could charge on a rapid charger, public charger, uh, on a Tesla until this beautiful little device here came out which is the CCS adapter and now I'm going to show you how it charges using the CCS adapter so essentially now that's CCS this is the CCS plug which looks like it's in one piece unlike the other one I, uh, I tried earlier and we connect that to the car so that should be locked in and ready to go I do hope this actually works because this will be the fourth of these Dorset wide units I've tried that hasn't been successful. Okay. What happened there? Oh my God, we're charging. So there you go. It says CCS at the top here. And we have successfully started to charge. So now I'm pretty much well covered for rapid charging. I can charge off virtually any rapid charger. Uh, I've got the AC socket, which will work at a very slow speed. I've got CCS and Chadamo. This is the first one out of the four that I've tried that's actually working. As you can see, the rate has picked up a little bit. Um, 32 kilowatts, 100 and odd miles an hour. You have to remember that uh, Tesla users are fortunate to have the supercharger network and we get regularly speeds four, four times faster than this. Uh, so, you know, half an hour gives you 200 miles on a Tesla supercharger. Um, so we're really rather spoiled. But uh, even so, uh, this is probably charging this slowly because the battery was cold when I got here. And um, it has picked up a little bit. It's picked up 10%. Uh, it's just touched 33 kilowatts. For a fraction of a second so that's probably the battery warming up and being able to take the charge a bit faster of course tesla is different from every other car manufacturer that makes electric cars in that uh, they have their own dedicated charger network the supercharger network and uh, they've just been upgraded to allow 150 kilowatts maximum uh, charging rate nominal on uh, on the model 3 here and i will show you a clip of the speed at which the model 3 charges on um, on the supercharger network. We've got uh, two rows of eight stalls and um, they've obviously just uh, dug into this piece of ground here. There's this unused piece of ground. Put some pea shingle down and uh, put up the stalls very quickly. This went in uh, literally in a matter of weeks. So very good. Another large supercharger site in the UK. Just look at the rate the miles are going on, okay? 38, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 39, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 40, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 40, what, well, 6 seconds per mile this car's charging at. 6 seconds per mile. That is seriously impressive.